Mike Pence goes after Trump and imitators for shifting GOP from its roots Manchester, NH, Mike Pence made some of his sharpest criticisms yet of Donald Trump and those he calls Trump's imitators in the GOP primary in a Wednesday speech on the battle between conservatism and populism in the Republican Party. Pence has repeatedly denounced the former president's actions on January 6, 2021, when he pressured Pence to subvert the results of the 2020 election and a violent mob attacked the Capitol. But Pence is now breaking with his one-time running mate on broader philosophical and policy grounds. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Pence spent four years in the Trump administration as a booster for Trump's policies, but now says his former boss no longer backs conservative policies and sounds like an echo of the progressives. The party wants to replace the growing faction would substitute our faith in limited government and traditional values within agenda stitched together by little else than personal grievances and performative outrage, Pence said of the populists in his party in the speech at St. Anselm College. In his first policy address since he came out swinging on the Republican presidential primary debate stage, Pence drew a stark contrast with his primary competitors. Including Trump, Pence has previously kept his criticism of Trump largely to January 6, along with abortion and entitlement reform. But Pence still faces an uphill battle for traction in the modern-day GOP, as polls show Republican primary voters are still largely behind the former president. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than the truth is the Republican Party did not begin on a golden escalator in 2015, Pence said in his speech, referring to Trump's first campaign announcement. He did not name Trump or any other candidate in the speech, but he made it clear who his criticisms were directed towards. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than the governor of Florida still justifies using the power of the state to punish a corporation for taking a political stand that he disagreed with, Pence said, referring to Ron DeSantis and one of the president's populist protégés actually advocated a 59% inheritance tax in his book, Nation of Victims, last year, Pence said, referring to Vivek Ramaswamy, a recent target of his ire at the August GOP debate and on the campaign trail. Pence did not mention other candidates as specifically in his remarks Wednesday, but he talked about policies some of them hold, such as being unwilling to reform entitlement programs to deal with the national debt or wanting to leave abortion legislation up to the states. Pence, who has advocated for federal limits on abortion, and former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley disagreed on how to handle the issue during the last debate. I really do believe that we're now, after Labor Day, engaged in an important debate over the future of the party that will bear upon the future of America, Pence told NBC News Tuesday. And it's really a debate about whether or not the Republican Party is going to continue to hew to the common-sense conservative agenda that has defined our movement over the last 50 years, or whether we're going to, we're going to heed the siren song of populism unmoored to conservative principles.